Hi, my name is Charlotte. If you're new here and welcome to this video, I am taking the mastery program from the Milan Art Institute, if you didn't know, and I got through all of the oil and drawing section, which is the first section. It takes up about three to four months of the program. It's a one year program. And so this week I started mixed media. The first part we really only used oil paint and charcoal and a little bit of graphite and that was it. So it was mainly focused on realism and skill building and now we're getting into finding your voice and using all these different materials to see what suits you best. And so I think they tried to ease us into it a little bit this week because we really only used acrylics, although it was much harder than I thought it would be, <laughs> especially after painting in oils for, I mean, four months. I got so used to the slow drying time, how beautiful they blend and yeah, acrylics are nothing like that. They're kind of chalky, they dry super fast, and you have to work really quickly, which is not really my style, I don't think. So yeah, it was challenging, but fun. And then we also went into art history, which was so interesting. I've taken art history classes in high school and in university, but they were never quite taught like this which I found to be really enlightening. It was really interesting and yeah, I just, I took a bunch of notes. I sat there through the lecture and I really enjoyed it. It was really good. I think some of the sentiments that Ellie talked about really resonated with me and I thought were really beautiful. And yeah, I would love to share a little bit of that with you. The lecture that Ellie gave was just beautifully done. She took a very different approach to teaching art history and I really enjoyed that. I just wanted to read you one quote that she told us at the beginning of the lecture that really resonated and that I thought was just so beautiful. She said, You are a part of this great family of artists from the past, the present, and the future. Together we are holding hands, collaborating with that divine creative spirit. We are producing artwork for our time to move culture. And I thought that was so beautiful. I had never really looked at it like that. And I love looking at the artist community as this big collaborative group of people, not just the people that are alive today, but you know, the, the old masters and anyone that's created art and anyone that's going to create art in the future too. Yeah, I thought that was really beautiful and impactful. So I wanted to share that. I, like I said, I took lots of notes and learned so much. I just, yeah, it was great. I am really excited for those of you who are maybe in the oil and drawing section who are still getting here because, yeah, it's just so interesting to me. I forgot to mention, so I'm putting this in right now, what the actual exercise was that we needed to do this week. So. Basically, we needed to create an acrylic painting and we started with washes and then subtracting so that we could then do glazing with acrylics and then an opaque layer with acrylics. And then on top of that, we would do oils to finish it off. So that is what you'll see me do here and see me or hear me talk about a little bit. So this week I started off with one painting, like my first acrylic painting really, and it just didn't go well. We were supposed to subtract, which is a, a technique that we've used with oil painting that I loved. And I couldn't, I just couldn't get the paint off of the canvas. I mean, I could get it a little bit, but it was really in non-specific areas. You know how, I don't know, maybe if you're watching this and you paint in oils, you can really be very specific with cotton bud. Is that what you call those things that go in your ears? Really subtract exactly what you need to subtract. Whereas with acrylics, I was trying to like rub it out with this big rag and it just, it, it just didn't work. I tried alcohol, I tried water and yeah, it was very difficult. So I did do a painting like that. I, I tried and tried and tried and 
it just didn't work and so I put that painting to the side and started another one and I got through the whole acrylic stage which went a little bit better and then I just covered it all up with oils like layers and layers of oils because I didn't like the look of the acrylics and that obviously wasn't the exercise either so then I did another one that I am happy with it was you know it's a different way of working on a painting because you have to work so quickly. I think something I've struggled with throughout the whole oil and drawing section is being loose and flowy. It's not something I'm very good at. I love to be really tight and I like little details and I'm really slow. <laughs> and having to work so fast, having no time to mix paint or to measure or to do any of those things was really frustrating to me at first. And I'm not gonna lie, maybe a little bit sad. I was really happy and excited after the final assignment of the oil and drawing section. I Obviously it's not a perfect painting, but I'm really proud of it and I just felt really good. I felt like, you know, I, I kind of know my way around paint now and then we start in acrylics and I just felt like I was starting all over again because I didn't know how to work with them. So I just kept trying and trying and trying and I am starting to like them now. So I think I'm on my fourth painting now. We were really only supposed to do one. I just, you know, needed a little extra time, which I'm guessing is gonna be the case for most of the materials. I think I'll have to make several paintings for all of the materials to really try them out because the first time trying something new likely is not going to make me very happy because I'm not good at it and I don't know how it works. <laughs> but we'll get there. I think, you know, I fought my way through it and now I'm actually ordering some more acrylic paints because I do want to continue on with this. So yeah, I mean, we'll see where I end up. So I have a little bit more footage of the second painting that you saw me working on and I'll let you know when I'm when I go from acrylics to oils but basically after the second layer of oils that I did over it I realized that I had covered all of the acrylic stuff that I did and you know that wasn't the exercise and so that's when I stopped and moved on to the next painting which is what you'll see after this and that is I guess what I'm calling my first mixed media assignment that I actually finished and then after that I did another painting so yeah. So here I'm still working on that second painting and this is the acrylic opaque slayer on that second painting and I was really fighting my paint as you can probably see the paint is so chalky and it doesn't mix and blend and yeah it was very difficult. So here I am starting the oil layer and I'm basically just covering it all up. I do think it looks a lot better with the oils on top, but that obviously wasn't the exercise. And so I did decide to start over after this painting and do another assignment. <laughs> I didn't actually end up finishing this painting, so it's still sitting in my studio. I will finish it. It will just require a few more layers of oil to cover up everything I did to it, but I think it could turn out nice. You also may recognize the source because it is from the same shoot as the final assignment that I did, and I love this image, and so I thought it was a great start to my mixed media journey, but yeah, it just made me kind of sad that I couldn't make it work. So after this, I just decided to start over with a new source that I also really love. I decided to start off with only four colors because for the other two underpaintings I used a bunch of them and it was kind of difficult to work with and so I stuck with four different colors for this one. As you can see I'm still really fighting my paints and trying to find the right consistency. The subtracting process was still very difficult although I did decide to not do two layers of 
the underpainting because I couldn't subtract out of that at all, so I just used the one so I could wipe out the wet paint much easier and get back to the white of the canvas like you would with an oil painting. After that, I did the glaze layer and I love glazing with oils. It's one of the most satisfying things in the process, I believe, and glazing with acrylics is just not the same, but you know, I'm trying to figure things out and I think it turned out all right. After that, I started with the acrylic opaque layer and it was very challenging still, even after having tried it two times before in the other two paints that you saw. I had to work really fast, didn't have a lot of time to mix colors, couldn't put specific colors in specific places because it just took too much time. But I think the end result in acrylics was pretty good. And this was the first one out of the three that I was happy with. Here I'm starting with the oil layer and I started with glazing and adding a little bit of white and then some opaques and I do think I still kind of overdid it like I did in the second assignment. I just covered all of the acrylics up with oils. I did do better in this one, I believe, and I do quite like the result, but don't think I should have covered everything up. I believe what they want us to do currently is do the whole painting in acrylics and then just glaze a little bit for the oils or do some highlights or some minor details, but they don't really want you to cover the whole painting with oils, which I kind of did. I think you can still see the acrylics, but yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> And here is the final result. And this is the last painting that I did. It's all in acrylics and unfortunately I didn't film it, but it made me feel really good. I It's when I started to like the acrylics, really. That was it for this week. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really going to try and make next week's video a little bit more interesting. I know that this was a lot of talking. There was just so much that I felt like needed to be explained, so yeah. I'm hoping you'll still be here next week for personal aesthetic and inks, because I'm really excited about it, and yeah. Thank you for being here. Bye.